Our first award this afternoon is the 2022 Carmen A. Catazone Honorary President Award. This year's recipient is Diane Halverson for her commitment to protecting the public health and her involvement with NABP. Diane, your support of NABP and its programs and initiatives, as well as your commitment to the practice of pharmacy, distinguish you from all others. And on a personal note, I want to compliment you and praise you for how you have been so staunch and so dedicated to your support for technicians and their place in our pharmacy practice. And I don't think they could have had a better advocate than you have been. So with that said, everyone, please welcome to the podium, Diane Halverson, the 2022 NABP Honorary President. Thank you, good afternoon. I'm gonna follow my notes because those of you who know me, I tend to get off on a tangent, so I'm gonna keep focused today. So it is with great appreciation that I am presented with this dist distinguished award. One of my focuses in my career has been the acknowledgement and advancement of pharmacy technicians. It is exciting to see the work that we've done and the work that we're gonna continue to do. My time on the North Dakota Board of Pharmacy has truly been a gateway to allow me to play an instrumental role in the evolution of pharmacy. My dedication does not focus on personal gain, rather my best to ensure our processes and decisions revolve around the public that we serve. Additionally, by serving on the North Dakota Board of Pharmacy, it has provided me the opportunity to be an active member of NABP by attending meetings, serving on task forces, and most importantly, having a voice. Additionally, the opportunity to network is a key element to ensure we continue to expand the industry while keeping public health and serving our communities as one of our main priorities. There are so many people who have been instrumental in supporting me during my journey in pharmacy. I would like to thank a few. And by the way, if I forget you, you know that I thank you. So obviously the first person I'm going to thank is my husband, David. Um, he has, throughout my journey, he has given me the opportunity to take time away from home and go out and network and, and show, take the avenues of my time that I wanted to, to be that advocate and that voice. I wanna thank my daughter, Melissa, who's in the audience, as well as my other two children, Eden and Will, and their spouses for their time and support in my journey. I wanna thank my sister, Mary, and my whole family, who obviously they couldn't all be here. We wouldn't have enough tables for them. We come from a big family. But thank you, Mary, for taking time to come here and share this, um, this celebration with me. I want to thank the pharmacy technicians, especially the ones from my state, um, the Northland Association of Pharmacy Technicians in our state, known as NAPT. Uh, we have worked the journey together. We um, have kind of set the standard of what we wanted in North Dakota, and then we went to the board and told them what we wanted to do. And the board was kind, kind to listen to us. I want to thank the North Dakota Board of Pharmacy members, past and present, uh, as well as the executive board members, our executive directors, um, Howard Anderson and Mark Hardy, who's here with us today. I want to also thank Carmen Catazone. When I first started getting active in the national organization, um, I'm sure many of you who know Carmen knows that he took care of everyone, and he made me feel welcome as well as the NABP staff. And so to receive this honorary award means so much to me, but it even went up another level when it was an award that was named after the work that Carmen has done. I think to, the only thing that could make this day better would be to have Carmen at my side, um, but there are other distinguished NABP members who I can feel his presence through, so a special thanks for him. 
I want to thank the many mentors that have encouraged me and supported me through my vision and through my years, and who didn't get tired of me during task force meetings when I was that token tech in the room that said, by the way, let's not forget what the techs can do. So thank you for listening to me and taking time for me. In closing, I just in general want to thank everyone for this opportunity. There really are no words that I could share standing up here um, to tell you what my heart feels like and just overall the feeling that I have today and ever since the day that I found out about this award that I was going to receive. So thank you everyone. And you'll note that while I've given a great speech, it wasn't as impactful as Mark's speech earlier. He truly is the North Dakota person that has the oomph in their speeches. So thank you everyone. Click, click.